uh, if you're new to Journey Optimizer, uh, I would say uh, it is uh, an email uh, marketing automation system uh, that allows you to create journeys uh, based on um, data that you feed into it. Uh, this is nothing new in terms of marketing automation, but the, the beauty about it uh, or uh, the way that it's being built, uh, that it's built on top of the Adobe Experience Platform. So in a, in a simple high level approach, you have your Experience Platform uh, from Adobe is where all your data lives. Uh, this can be classified as data sets where it exists in the data lake, but also brought in together into profiles that can be uh, leveraged across the different application services sitting on top of AEP. One of those is Adobe Journey Optimizer. Uh, that allows, there, there's a lot of functionalities that uh, that platform enables. If we are looking under the hood, and this is where uh, I'm always interested because uh, at a high, as you look at it from, from the picture of saying, okay, it runs on top of AAP, um, what does that really mean? Um, how does the data flow? What do I need to do to get it running? Um, where does it run on segments? How quickly these segments um, qualify and, uh, and the resolution of them? So you really need to understand what is under the hood. So, so I have two views of that. Um, I really like this one, what we have on the screen here, um, because it, um, it really describes um, the, it shows you the, the, the different stages. So first data, um, you, and this is I think the critical piece. Um, and we'll talk a little bit with Ivan on um, uh, the, the, the capability of kind of fast pacing or expediting the process of data. This is the, one of the nice things about AJO, uh, Journey Optimizer. But um, the first step is data, getting this data into the platform. Uh, and this is where this can be the data that's coming in from your site uh, using either, if you already have implemented um, analytics, whether it's Google or Adobe, uh, you can pipe this data into the platform, or if you are um, implementing analytics fresh, like what we've been seeing in many clients going through revamping and migrating, you can use uh, one of Adobe solutions, which is uh, the Adobe Web SDK or the mobile SDK. The beauty of that, of course, is that it uh, creates the data model and sends it to uh, the platform in, in what we call the XDM. Uh, the experience data model, which uh, has a lot of uh, adds a lot of value. One, it's already feeds in into a schema, but two also talks in the same language that Journey Optimizer understands. Especially, this kind of plays a big role when you get into um, situations you're trying to trigger certain journeys by these signals. But again, going back, data collection, uh, it's coming in and this is being classified. So there is gonna be in, uh, plenty of time for you to set up um, this, uh, this, this data. It's gonna be an important pillar of your implementation. Um, the second piece uh, afterwards, you have the orchestration. So this is where uh, AJO starts, you start ex exploring uh, AJO and this is where it's broken into multiple pieces. Um, one is being the journey service. So this is where you will have your data sources, events, actions. Um, you can start light in the beginning and then build on, on top of those, depending on the complexity. Uh, but then you also have your journey designer. This is where you are building the journeys. This is your, your canvas where you're saying, if someone did this, then send them this message. If, if we want to split an audience between uh, a push notification and an email. This is all happens within that uh, canvas within the journey designer. And then related to it uh, is the journey reporting. Whenever a journey goes out, um, you actually have the ability to see things in live on what's happening. Uh, and then later you can look at a, what we call a global report that you can see, okay, how did this perform? Who received it? How many bounced? What did they react to, et cetera? Um, the, the next step from orchestration is content. Uh, how do you create this content, right? 
Um, we are used to in the in in the past of saying, "Hey, we have a, a team that is creating the content outside, and we bring it into the email uh, into the ESP." Well, this is where things are a little more streamlined with Journey Optimizer, where you do have a message designer. Uh, it's pretty powerful. It's a message designer for both email, in-app messaging, push notification. Even you can do your SMS um, creation of uh, messages all within the same uh, uh, designer. But the beauty is it hooks into um, this DAM, uh, the Digital Asset Manager, um, in, in this case called uh, Assets Essential. But that one is also part of um, your, your larger Adobe um, offering for uh, Digital Asset Manager. This is if you if you have teams that are doing things within uh, the creative cloud or any other systems that they can feed directly into that. This way you organize it properly and this way will be the same repository of all your assets where the email channel or the journey optimizer can hook into. Um, moving related to content is, is also the ability of doing offer decisioning service. I'll be honest with you, we haven't used that service yet. But this is one of, uh, one of the additional value that a journey optimizer brings into the table, where um, if you're looking to enhance your offer decisioning and knowing what is the next best action, uh, there is this service that JO has an, a native integration with that allows you to do these things. And then from there, in the end, it's engagement. And what I would call is delivery. So this is where you have the message service sending these messages out to, to the endpoints. These can be either sending emails um, or even direct mail or mobile push or hooking into an endpoint. And, and this is something I think is remarkably important in the space we're in, where we're no longer um, only looking for triggering one thing. There could be different versions of it. There could be different endpoints. You might want to hook it into Slack. You want to hook it into your internal systems or your own homegrown uh, tool. The APIs are powerful enough to allow you to do so. Ivan, did I miss anything here? Anything you want to add from from this uh, view? No, I think it's I think that's great. And I think what's really important just to keep in mind here is that by centralizing the data, you're, you're able to not only feed everything into all of your engagement workflows with Journey Optimizer, but it also touches into how we can use the same profile data and workflows and engagement data to run reports in uh, customer journey analytics as well. Yep. That's a great point, yeah. Yeah, it, it becomes the idea of reusing things. So if you build something um, in, in Journey Optimizer, that whether it's the data model or the, the journey itself, that can be reused for analysis later on and such. So that's pretty powerful. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, this is another view. It's very similar. Um, I, I like this one where you're breaking things. So um, it's the same story, but the idea here is Within Adobe Experience Platform, there's you have the you have a little bit of a view into your data lake where your data sits, and then also the profile information, which can, which in this case um, is your unified profile that you define, but also on top of it uh, or related to it is the segmentation. So one thing here that uh, maybe some of you don't know, but the same segments that you would create with uh, Adobe Experience Platform. Will, will be used, can be used for the real-time CDP as well as for uh, Journey Optimizer. So if you have, and I know this has been a concern in the past where we, we used to say, we have many ways to create segments in different places. Well, this is a solution that helps you in centralizing um, the, the, the segments itself. So segments can be uh, centralized and then used uh, across different solutions, including Journey Optimizer. Uh, 